Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. My name is Liam, and welcome back to Pokemon X Randomized Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we continued along the roots after roots after roots after roots after roots. The roots never end. They keep on going forever. But we are now in Amberet Town, possibly. And we lost, we lost, we lost, we lost, we lost Meg. We lost our starter Pokemon in the last episode. We lost Meg. So, the team as it stands right now, let's go over it. The team that's going to carry us through today's episode. We have Jesse, our little baby Axew, holding the amulet coin with Dual Chop, Leer, Assurance, and Dragon Rage. We have Molly, the newest member of the team, our Zubat, with Leech Life, Supersonic, and Astonish at level 9. We have Seamus, our Aromatisse, level 20 with Sweet Scent, Fairy Wind, Calm Mind, and our Echoed Voice. We have Chubbs, our Chestnut, level 9 tuned with Hammer Arm, Belly Drum, Bite, and Vine Whip. And we have Mary, our Charizard, with Scratch, Dragon Rage, Ember, and Smoke Screen. That is the team that is going to take us through today's episode. And it's going to bring us to victory. I'm also eating cashews at the moment. So if you see me eating at some point, it's because I'm eating cashews. Do, do, do. Hey, trainer, use this TM. It's Rock Smash. The Rock Smash. Ah, that is... That is, uh, interesting. Rock Smash lowers lack of power. A pouty person on my phone. Very pouty. Right, there's got to be some items in it. I keep getting all tangled up. Getting cross with stuff. I'm very particular about the speed of my Pokemon. That's why I was wondering if you had any Pokemon with uh, that, that, that. Uh, I don't. I, I doubt I'd have anyone with 118 at the moment. Heard some Pokemon can evolve during battle. Did you know that? Pokemon evolve during battle. Oh, Mega Evolve. I get that. <laughs> I get it. A lot of stones to bring out. Stones, stones. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Do you give me something? Give me a Great Ball, maybe. Trade a Pokemon for a dive ball. Sure, why not? I will take a dive ball. I don't know what that dive ball will do, but I have one now. Do, 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 do. TM, please. I know someone. What's that? I got something rare from a customer. I had a chat with a customer several times and we hit it off. So we got a. So I, there's a customer that I have to talk to a couple of times. Is it you? Oh, no, you just gave me nature power. Sweet! I'll never use nature power though, but good to have. Good to have. <coughs> Cashew in my throat. Right, how do we get the Amberite? I don't remember. If you have a Pokemon called Genesect of you, please let me know, alright? Nah. Come to Fossil Lab because you like fossils. I came to the Fossil Lab because the door was open. Wait for me. Wait for me. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Well, welcome, future archaeologists. You were drawn here by the mystic of fossils, no doubt. My name's Serena. This is UXL. Actually, his name is Neighbor. We're researching Mega Evolution, and we were wondering if you knew anything about it. Oh, so you're sick of all students! I've heard about you. Mega Revolution, you say? I'm sorry, but all I know is that has something to do with mysterious stones. Still, you're students of the Professor, so you must know about Pokemon Professors. Pokemon Fossils, correct? I know fuck all about sis fossils. How unexpected! I would have thought sick of more students would know the basics. Listen well, fossils are the legacy of Pokemon from distant past. I think you should definitely go to the dig side and see the real thing. But if you don't if you don't know anything about Mega Evolution, then hold on! Pokemon that can be restored from fossils just might have something to do with Mega Evolution. Okay, so we're going to the Glittering Cave. Maybe I should go talk to the assistant and go in Glittering Cave. I am going to the Glittering Cave. Let us go to said cave that glitters. Let's go to the cave that glitters. Well, hello, sir. Are you going to search for fossils? You'd have to ride a Rhyhorn to get there. Riding Rhyhorn can be so much fun. You can even pretend you're the famous Rhyhorn racer, Grace. She rides something else now. It's called Sycamore. Pokemon moves that come with direct physical contact with Pokemon are direct attacks. If you want to do something about them, you can try it. Ah! 
And here's me like, if you want to do something about a physical attack, try doing this. Do, do, do. Like, really like, mocking this woman. And she just gave me like a Rocky helmet. Sorry, I'm sorry I was insulting you, lady. Please carry on your, your, your day. Your journey? Your day? I don't know. Give me a fossil. Alright, I'm all aboard. All aboard. Let's go, team. I don't know where to get the fossil. I don't know where to get the fossil, but I do know I can catch a Pokemon while traversing across these rocks. Duh. Right, this is Route 9, I think. Route 9? I think he said 9. Fuck yeah! Sea King! How did I step on a Sea King that was in a rocky path? That is one dead Sea King. I'm sorry. But this Sea King should, for all intensive purposes, be dead. It should be dead. I'm probably not going to use Sea King. I'm probably not going to use Sea King. I don't know if it has Lightning Rod. Maybe. Maybe if it has Lightning Rod. It has just forced me to hit myself, so that does make me hate it just a little bit. Does make me hate it just a little bit. Fairy wind! More fairy wind! Oh, Seamus! Seamus needs to calm down sometimes. Let's try this dive ball. Shame. Ew, sea King lives underwater. Not this one. This one lives in the rocks, apparently. But, okay, well, never mind. Glad I got that dive ball. Really helped. Really helped. Let's just try a regular Pokeball. You telling me Sea King doesn't live underwater? Is that what you're trying to tell me now? Gah! I don't really want it. I don't even really want it. Does it even have a water type move? Does it have a water type move? Because if it doesn't, really, really cannot describe how unbothered I am about catching this Sea King. Although it does have, that was a mean tail whip. That was a pretty good tail. So it has Water Sport, Supersonic, Water Sport, Supersonic, Tail Whip. I haven't seen its fourth move. Peck, maybe? I don't know. My god! What is seeking cat? I am getting very fucking unlucky with catching Pokemon lately. Like, they're all taking like four or five Pokeballs. Starting to grind my gears just a little bit. Come on, you're a seeking! You're not a Kyogre! Stay in the ball. There you go. Just need the hand. Need the firm hand. Need the need the firm hand. The firm hand is what gives. Is what brings the power. And once you have the power, then it brings the women. Seeking. If there's anyone who knows about getting women, it's seeking. In the autumn spawning season, they can be seen swimming powerfully up rivers and creeks. Creeks? Creeks. Rivers and creeps. Seeking! My controller keeps on getting tangled up. Ah, there we go. Right, Seeking. You're a fish. You have a horn, like a narwhal, which is like a whale with a unicorn horn. Uh, Voldemort drinks unicorn blood in Harry Potter. Let's go if I can call you Hagrid. You are Hagrid the Seeking. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, you're on the team now. Oh, I had an empty spot. Okay, well, Hagrid's on the team for the moment. He's not going on the layout. But we got Hagrid for the time being. Do you have a... You have no water type move, but you do have horn attack. You also don't have... You also don't have... Uh, la, 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 la. I can't think what I was going to say now. Never mind. Don't worry. <laughs> Never mind. It's gone. Let's just keep moving. And see what other good Pokemon we could have had. Let me put someone else up front. Let's put Jesse back up front. Seamus does not need to be up front. Let's go, team. Do I push A on these? I do. Double Smash. Smash Tacular. Smash Tastrophe. Mount Smash and Taro. Put me on the right side. Put me on the right side. Good. <laughs> <laughs> really glad, super glad, super glad that I got off for that, for that X defense. 
Hi, yi, 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 yi. I've been playing Pokemon far too long today, and I have to keep playing it for much longer today. Um, I'm not too sure where I'm going, so let's just go this way. I want the item. I want the item. It's not a TM, but it'll probably be something that I will need later on. I will, def I will definitely, definitely need that Paralyze heal later on. Mark my words. Someone remember that Paralyze heal. And when I use it, someone be like, you did tell us that you needed to use that Paralyze heal. And there it was. Smash. Oh, let's see what we could have got instead of Seeking. Probably be something amazing. Definitely not amazing. Better than Seeking, but definitely not amazing. Slowpoke would have actually, Slowbro would have actually been really good for the team. Where's up with all these water Pokemon that are trapped on this mountain? Poor water Pokemon. They're all stuck here. All the water types. No. Smash. Hiya. Right, let's get off. The only thing up there is a sky battle, which I, the only Pokemon I have that can. Oh no, I can use Charizard. I can use Charizard in the sky battle. But you might have a Pelipper, and that'd be like asking for death. Thank you for restoring my Pokemon to full health. Dun, 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 dun. Hello. It's really easy to get lost in this cave here. Just take one step at a time, go rushing carelessly, and you'll never find your way out. Ever. Ever. Right. Let's put Seamus back up front. I'm glad I'm switching my Pokemon around so much today. And let us see what we can get for the glittering cave encounter. You have to be like attacked by a black spot. Pretty sure that's how it used to work in here. It's just like random black voids that attack you for some reason. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, like that. <laughs> just a random bit of black void that sticks around. What is it? What have I got? This is where we get all the water Pokemon. Every every Nuzlocke has this. Every Nuzlocke has this moment. At least my ones. Where every water type Pokemon in the world suddenly congregates on you. And you become a quantum singularity of water Pokemon. You cease to exist as a Pokemon YouTuber, a Pokemon player, as a human. And just become a congregation of water type Pokemon. This is what's happening now. Got Sea King, got Timpole, Slowpoke was outside. It's, it's slowly happening, it's slowly happening. I'm glad I didn't have to waste much time on that, though. Do, do, do. By vibrating its cheeks, it emits sound waves imperceptible to humans and warns others of danger. You like this? I don't know if that pick up on the camera or not, but hold on. That might pick up on the camera, I don't know. If it doesn't, you just saw me shake my cheeks like a tin pole. Uh -huh. I pinched my face too hard. Uh, I'm going to name you Ralph because I got that mouth thing from an episode of Simpsons where someone's going around Lisa's class and they're like, show me something you can do that no one else can. And I think it, it might be Ralph or it might be just a random kid, but I just always remember like Ralph and someone just goes and just smashes their face like with their hands. It's, Really made me laugh when I was a kid. Do, 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 do. And because they were like, oh, show me something that you can do that no one else can. I was like, I can do that, you fucking lying Ralph. And I like, wrote an angry letter to Simpsons. Oh, truth. There are some crap Pokemon in this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Very bad Pokemon in this episode. Glad I did not get the fortune. Ah! You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch, how dare you? Molly grew to level 11, Chubbs grew to level 20. Chubbs wants to learn a pin missile. Not today, Chubbs. Not today. Da, da, da. Right, let's get some Heelys going on. Let's get some Heelys on. Heelys for the feelies. Uh, there you go, Seamus. I'm not sure why you're up front, but I'm glad you was up front. Because that self-destruct probably would have killed little Axew if he was up there. What is this? A hard stone. <laughs> named after me. The hard stone. Named after me. Okay, I'm glad I've got this knit cap. Right, let's try putting Axe in front. 
Let's try putting Jesse at the front. I need to start doing switch training with Zubat, really. Because Zubat's not going to level up fast enough to actually have an impact on anything. That would have been immensely better than a Timpole. Just throwing that out there. That would have been immensely better than a Timpole. And I would have appreciated that a lot, a lot, a lot more. Even if it does have String Shot. I spit all over my monitor. I spit all over Volcarona. He probably hates me now. And that's probably why I didn't catch him. I don't want to touch him though. Don't want to touch ya. I don't know where that's from, but it's stuck in my... Ah! Stop doing damage to my Pokemon. Goodbye, Volcarona. I knew you not very well. Level 20, Axie! Ten more levels, and then you're a Frax Whore. Ah, Slash, good. Slash is good. So let's get rid of Leer. Ba, 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 ba. I really want Axie to stay throughout the whole series. I want this to be the one we carry. Level 21. Shame. Ooh, Draining Kiss, finally. Something that's not just Fairy Wind. Draining Kiss is 50, 100. Fairy Wind is 40, 100. Really? Fairy Wind is terrible. I'm going to get rid of Sweet Scent because I'm not spamming the Horde Encounters like I said I wasn't going to. I feel like that's cheating. I feel like that is cheating. That would be like using the Dex Nav in, in uh, Aorus to be like, uh, let me just search for... This Pikachu that I want. <laughs> like, literally just be like that. Right, so I need to start doing some switch. I'm not going to do switch training with Molly yet. I'll do it when the train, when the Team Flare trainers come along. Is it this way? Yeah, this is the way. Is this the way to Team Flare trainers? Gotta beat them, that's no brainers. Taking on the Team Flare Trainers And they're terrible People Hello Well well, what do we have here? A noisy train, I'll come poking around See, listen up, we got a fashionable team Whose very name makes people tremble in fear Team Flare Team Flare's goal is to make it so we're the only ones who are happy We don't care about what happens to other trainers or Pokemon Get out of here kid, don't you know not to play with fire? I always hate, I think Team Flare is my most hated team. Like in terms of just being shit and no one, I hate them. Riolu! Oh, I didn't put Zubat up front, my bad. Oh, I did. Molly! Hello, Molly. Chubbs, get in here. Ah, my eye. Huh. Crying. I'm crying. Dude. Vine whip. Ha! You done four damage. Take the rocky helmet damage. Oh, why didn't it work? Does faint not do rocky helmet damage? Didn't know that. Did not know that. That's good to know. Hiya! Stop enduring and get eaten by chubs. Chubbs needs his meal for today. Goodbye, Riolu. You, you will not be remembered as a contender. Level 12, Molly. Molly is catching up. Molly is catching up. What have we got next? Geodude. Oh, Geodude. Geo. My dude. My dude. The Geodude. Let's get Molly back in there. Get some more experience for her. Geodude. Oh, and you're without no eyebrow Geodude. The no eyebrows Geodude. He's back. Back to being just the rock. The, the rock monster that he is. Jobs! Ding, 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 ding. Love Geodude! Geodude, Graveler, Golem. All three of them are great. Graveler's the worst of the three, admittedly. He has middle child syndrome. But Geodude and Golem. Ugh, oh, amazing. Amazing. Molly, you were supposed to level up there. Hagrid, you are not supposed to level up. <laughs> ha ha! You may have beaten me, but when I lose, I go out in style. Do you? Do you? I wasn't very stylish, if I must say so myself. What's this? You're a pretty tough Pokemon trainer, kid. But watch yourself, I'm not the only member of Team Flare. You'd be a pretty shitty team if you was the only member. That pretty much... That pretty much the definition of team is more than one person. You would... 
You'd be lying. You'd be lying to yourself. Ah, itchy face. Tortuga! This is just the Chubbs episode. This is the episode where Chubbs is like, don't worry team. Don't worry team. I've got this. I will put the team on my ginormous chestnut chub back. Here he is again. The Chub Man. Mr. McKenzie himself. Take that Rocky Helmet damage. Rocky Helmet coming through. Vine Whip on Tortuga. Okay, well, Vine Whip on Tortuga next turn. Spoilers. And then Turtle going down. Okay. Make a liar out. Fool me once, Tortuga. Shame on you. Protect on me twice, Tortuga. I to freaking make sure you die on that third turn, though, with a crit Vine Whip. Yeah! My boy Chubb's level 21. I don't know if that's a good level for the next gym. I don't know what level the gym is. 13. 20. I just want Molly to be happy. Horsey! 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 Yet again, another one for Chubbs. So we go back into Molly and go back into Chubbs. And we've done this song and dance already before. Team Flair is extremely weak to Chubbs. I'm not going to risk you, Zubat. Not yet. Not against Team Flare members, anyway. What I am going to do, though, what I am going to do, I'm not going to eat a cashew. Ha 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 ha! Delicious cashews! Right. Chubbs, shove your vine down that horsey. Thank you, Chubbs. You are the greatest. Awesome. Yeah, I don't know what next. I don't know what level next gym is. I feel like the next gym is like level twenty three ish. I feel like it's like level twenty three ish. That sounds like a good number to me, personally. But I'm not. Ah! I saw it too late. I saw it too late. <gasps> Molly's up front. Oh well, that's not random. I'm pretty sure Wubat is always there. I'm fairly certain Wubat is always there. By the way, sorry, I'm just like sliding around like that. I totally forgot I was recording. And that's what I do on my computer when I'm waiting for stuff to happen. I just kind of pull myself around because I'm on a wheelie chair. Right, let's run away from the Wubat. What? Too much Pokemon today. That's what that is. Too much Pokemon today. Right. Ah! Ah! We're Team Flare. We put the fashion into fear. We were looking for fossils, but discovered a kid. You exile. <laughs> there are two members of Team Flare. Well, then, are you ready to team up and battle them? I just fought with another of those Team Flare guys. That bit of information did not mean to be said. I just want to make people in Team Flare happy. Why don't you just do that? Oh. If you're going to go around threatening other people, we won't let you get away with it. I hate Team Flare. I hate Pokemon X and Y. Rival stuff. It's all so cutesy wootsy and like, I won't let you with the power. You have a motherfucking Dragonite. You cannot just bring out a casual level 20 Dragonite. That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. You can't just bring in the casual Dragonite. I will not allow it, sir. You need to have a license and a permit for that. Look at him. Big derpy thing. Kill it, Wigglytuff. Kill it with your fire. You didn't even land your double slap. Don't worry, though. I've got this. I've got this. I totally do not- Ah, you put Wiggly Dog to sleep, you moron! Dragonite with a leer again. Ah, my defense is so low! Kill it with the draining kiss. Ah, oh, Romantis is the slowest one on the field. Hiya! Damn that multi-scale. Right, this draining kiss should kill it now. This draining kiss should kill the Dragonite. Just don't hit me. Bubble, I'm fine with. I'm fine with bubble. Feel free to keep on blowing your bubbles at me. Ah, minus three defense. Kill the Dragonite now. 
Kill it now! Wigglytuff, you are not even providing moral support. Right, kill it, kill it, kill it, go, go, fuck, damn! This Dragonite's gonna kill me, this Dragonite's gonna kill me, it's totally gonna kill me. Ah, oh, healer! My ability worked! <laughs> My ability did something! The ability actually did something! Oh, not me, not me, not me, not me, not me. Yes, good. That one, that one, that one. Keep that one asleep forever. Minus four defense. Minus four. I'm not sure. I don't I don't think that matters too much because I don't think anyone actually has any physical move. Polyvwell might have double slap, maybe. That was a lot of XP. That was a lot of XP. I'm glad Molly got that XP. Mori! Mori! Yes! Wing attack! Yes! We take wing attack for certain. Uh, get rid of Supersonic because it's shit. Could have got rid of Leech Life as well because it's shit in this game. There we go. Hagrid leveled up. We don't care. Oh, Water Pulse! Maybe now, maybe I should use Hagrid. Maybe I should keep Hagrid around for a little while. Uh, let's get rid of Water Sport. Literally one of the worst moves ever. Literally one of the worst moves ever in the whole existence, existence of Pokemon. Uh, but you is naughty natured, so... Maybe I won't keep seeking. I don't know. I don't know. What I do know is... I'm going to search where the old Amber is in Pokemon X. Uh, old Amber Pokemon Pokemon X. Because I can go back and restore that and that will count as my that will count as my uh Whatever it's called. What's it called? Amberette Town. Top on. Someone posted on. I'm gonna call it out on Game Facts. Where do you find old Amber? Old Amber in Pokemon X. The top answer starts with. I don't know. That is the top answer. You upset me, team. You upset me. It's in Glittering Cave somewhere, apparently. So it's in here somewhere. Mary wants to learn Scary Face. No, Mary! You're not scary. You're not scary, Mary. Oh, no! I know it. I don't need Old Amber. I get a fossil at the end of this one anyway. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. You're probably all... I get... You're probably all... Physically smashing your faces into the screen. So that you can break through to me. And tell me how dumb I am. Because there's fossils like right here. This guy gives you a fossil. This guy gives you a fossil. I'm fairly certain this guy gives you a fossil. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure he gives you a fossil. Did you find him? Yeah. Apparently you didn't. You just put yourself in that corner. What's that? A Pokemon? Don't worry about it. Well, it looks like he has completely absorbed in the looking of fossils. You two are very lucky. I just found two new fossils. But they're both ones I already have. So I'll give one to each of you. Do you want the jaw or the sail? Jaw, please! Jaw, please. Yes. Doesn't matter. Doesn't really matter. Bam, 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 bam. And you get the other one. I'll restore your fossils and turn it back into Pokemon in the labs. Hope to see you there. Right. I'm probably going to restore the fossils and then end the episode off there. Because somehow this episode's gone to like 30 minutes long already. And like I said, I've been playing a lot of Pokemon today. So I might need to step away for a bit. Escape rope? Let's just leave. Molly's already level 16 though, which I'm quite impressed with. I'm quite impressed. Oh, I've got a walk back? What kind of horse shit is that? What kind of horse shit is that? I remember the days when escape ropes would take you back to the... Be Pokemon Center. Now the shit. Hiya. Smash that rock in particular. I don't like that one. 
This Rhyhorn is so slow. Okay. Nearly at the end and then found something. Where is it? It's a Caracosta. Water Pokemon. Told you. Water Pokemon. Gravitate. Hello, every water Pokemon ever. Please come see me today. This, this was the water Pokemon episode. I told you guys it was going to... Uh, no, no, no. It's not, it's not right. Way to go. No. I'm, I'm pressing down. Look. I'm pressing down. I might need to switch. I might need to switch. I might, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, ah, fuck, da, 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 ba, do. There's your legendary for the episode, guys. Woo, woo, keep the train rolling. There's no brakes on the legendary train. Okay. Oh, it's a crit. I was gonna say. I was about to go insane. I was like, oh, no way. I'm never going to attempt to run. I'm not even going to attempt to run. You can't just... Two crits! You can't just throw a Ho-Ho at me. And then let him get two crit weather... Back and make it, let me run away from the chicken. Bye, oh, get in. I got so mad, I made my webcam blurry. Oh, even when, even when he wants me to leave, even when he is trying to get me to leave, he's trying to whirlwind me away. The game will not accept it. The game's like, no, you're in this fight now. Deal with it. This is your life. Fight the Ho-Ho. Goddamn game. This Pokemon X game is like... It's, it's, it's messing with my head. It's messing with my head. Don't you give me another Ho-Ho. Don't you give me one of them Ho-Hos again. That's a Swoobat! That is a Swoobat, sir. The swoowest of all the bats. Uh, uh Run, please! Fuck. Assurance. Okay, I can take Assurance. I hope. Ah, oh, it took it like a champion. But I am going to switch. Because I'm not losing... I'm not losing Molly. And I should probably just take Molly out of that front slot. But goddamn, she likes it so much. She loves to sit at the front of the car. I'm going to kill this Swoobat. I've decided... I've just decided... Now I'm going to kill this Swoobat. Hiya! Dun dun. Maybe you don't have any psychic type moves. Maybe. Maybe Zubat could have eventually killed you. I don't know. But. Hiya! Do 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 do! Hooray! Glad I done that. Represent. Does this root. This root's got a. It's worth it! If everything that's happened so far is worth it! For Electabuzz. Electabuzz, use the Thunderbolt! <laughs> greatest, the greatest thing in the whole of the anime. It's so great, they have not done it in so long. <laughs> they have not done it in so long because it is too good. It's, it's like Christmas, it can only happen once a year. Electabuzz being in the anime and using the Thunderbolt can only happen every now and then. For we do not wish to spoil the treasure that is. No! Ha! Ha! We don't want to spoil the treasure that is the Electabuzz using the Thunderbolt. If you don't know what I'm talking about, YouTube search it. That's all I'm saying. I've said it in many, many LPs now, but Electabuzz using Thunderbolt in the anime is the best Thing since instant noodles. Make my Pokemon good, please. Yes. I don't know if this will actually be a, a tyrant. If it is a tyrant, I don't. 
don't know if it actually is a Tyrant, so I'm going to have a look. It might be. I think given Pokemon are still the same, but let's have a look. If it's random, that'd be great, but I think it might be just a Tyrant. Yeah, it's just a Tyrant. Okay. Uh, I'll probably just keep the Tyrant, to be honest. I'll probably just keep that Tyrant, to be honest. It's not really a... It was a given Pokemon. It's not like a starter Pokemon. So I'll just keep that Tyrant. Um, I'm going to put Hagrid in the box for now. I still don't, I'm still not very big on Hagrid. Yeah, I'm still not very big on Hagrid. Let's keep, let's keep Hagrid away for now. Stop telling me to... Actually, I might pick up Hagrid. Maybe. Should I use Hagrid? Should I use Hagrid? I don't really have anything to hit Fire-type Pokemon. That's all I'm thinking. I just don't have anything to hit Fire-type Pokemon. I'll base it off of the next town. I'll base it off of the next town. So we do have a lot of encounters coming up. We've got one more route before the next town. So I'll base it off of that. But I'm going to end the episode off there for today. So thank you guys for joining me for this episode. It's been much appreciated. In this episode, we went into the Glittering Cave, met Team Flare. A fortress blew up on us. And we found the legendary rainbow bird that was Ho-Oh. And it got really scary for a second. Next episode, we are going to take on the second gym. The next episode is going to be the second gym, I promise you. So don't miss it. That's where the whole thing could come undone. Because gyms are a problem when they're randomised. Thank you guys for watching this episode, though. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like. If you didn't enjoy it, though, feel free to leave a dislike. Leave a comment down below. All the usual stuff. I love you all very much. The support on the series has been fantastic so far. The support on the channel has been fantastic. You're all amazing. I wish I could come and kiss and hug every single one of you. But what I can do is blow you smooches now and I can say goodbye. Take care, everyone. See you soon.